fabrics are thick, which can be a problem when stitching garments because you don't want the bulk of those seam allowances showing in your garment. So I'm going to talk about a couple of seaming techniques to reduce bulk in your garments or any other project. The first seam is called the lapped seam. So you're going to take your pieces and you're literally just going to lap them one over the other. And one of your pieces is going to have a raw edge showing on the right side. So on that piece that is going to have the raw edge on the right side, you're going to trim a quarter inch off of the seam allowance. And then you're going to mark your stitching line a half inch in. I'm just going to eyeball it. And then you're going to lap the other piece right over that line. And then with the right side facing up, we're going to edge stitch this raw edge. And since a lot of wool fabrics are so densely woven and fold to some extent, this raw edge isn't going to fray. You can use an edge stitching foot here for nice even lines. And you could just stitch your seam once, has a more of an organic feel, or you can turn it over and edge stitch your other raw edge as well. And that makes a really nice strong seam since it's stitched twice. And it gives a sportier look on the right side because you have two lines of top stitching showing. So that's what your right side would look like. And the next seaming technique is called the welt seam. So with right sides together, you're just going to stitch your fabric pieces using your 5 8 inch seam allowance. And you're going to press your seam allowances toward one side. And if you're making a garment, you want to give some thought to what side you're pressing toward because that side is going to have an extra line of top stitching on it. You're going to trim your lower seam allowance to a quarter to an eighth of an inch. And then, so this is pressed toward this side, we're just going to edge stitch this raw edge. This is another good strong seam stitched twice. And since you're encasing that trimmed seam allowance in this seam finish, it actually gives sort of this raised look, which is beautiful on wool pea coats and other outerwear. So those are two seaming techniques to reduce bulk in your garments.